Hello, even though we're all at home at the moment in these unprecedented times, I want to give you the opportunity to show you how you can shoot some great images while we're all indoors. Under the Create Your Light hashtag, we will be inviting you to take part in some photography challenges over the next few weeks. These photography challenges will hopefully help you get inspired, get creative, and help you shoot some great images while you're indoors. Using the Create Your Light hashtag, you can share your images with a wider Nikon community. Capturing great images at home is easier than you think. You just need to understand how to look at the window light around you and the camera settings you'll need to make the most of that light. Our first Create Your Light challenge is using window light. We're going to show you how to look at the different types of window light, be it front light, side light, back light, and diffuse light to help you get great images while you're indoors. So shooting with window light, I'm here in my kitchen. I have found a cheese grater, which I think most people would have in their kitchens. I've got my Nikon Z7 with me. Um, I've got the camera set to 125th of a second. I've set it at f4 at the moment um, because that gives me a good depth of field. If I've got an f1.8 lens, I might get that out and change down to f1.8 at some point. But um, at the moment, we're gonna start with f4. I've got the camera set on auto ISO. Reason I'm using my Nikon, great in low light, but we can do this with any camera. I could even do this with my camera phone if I wanted. Um, looking at the light, looking at the way it's going to be hitting uh, my cheese grater here, which is my subject of choice. Um, I've got uh, side light coming in from camera right here. It's hitting this face of the uh, cheese grater. So that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start looking at side light and how I can work with that to create some interesting images. Because depending on my exposures, I can actually use that to manipulate the window light to make it darker or brighter. And I can also use things like exposure compensation on the camera to do that as well. Okay, we're later in the day here, so the light is changing. We've got longer shadows. Um, I'm actually gonna use this for backlighting. So we're gonna take our window frame here, and actually, in particular, we're gonna look at the window handle here. Really like the way the light is coming from behind here to strike it. We've got the dust left from the recent rain on the window pane. 